Hey guys, this is Wes and welcome to your 24th Java tutorial. Today we're going to go over some of the methods within the arrays class. Um, as you can see, it's all it really is is it's methods that will help manipulate our arrays and they're built into the java.util package similar to if you've watched the previous tutorials the scanner class and the random class but unlike those classes um, this class we will not have to create an object of it in order to use it within our cookie class and the reason for that is because all the methods within the arrays class are static meaning that they belong to the um, class rather than to the object itself and if that doesn't make sense just know that's um, just for now just know that if it's a static method you don't have to create objects of the class in order to use the method within it um, we will be covering static very thoroughly very soon but um, we have not yet uh, created a dedicated video to it <laughs> so let's just get to it um, the first method I'm gonna cover we're not gonna cover all the methods within the arrays class because there is a, uh, a very large amount but for right now we're just going to cover some of the main ones and then I'll show you how to uh, access a list of those class or methods so you can test them yourselves so the first one I'm going to show you is the equals method and just like you think it would mean it's used to determine if two arrays are equal to each other it just returns a boolean value true or false true if they are equal false if they are not and it's considered equal if they have the same number of elements and they are arranged in the same order so the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a variable to store this value it's going to be of the boolean data type so boolean will call the variable result one is equal to the method so arrays um, which is just a class and you can see right here here's all the methods within the arrays class um, as you can see there are a ton so we're not going to cover them but we're going to cover um, a good amount in here but uh, if you want to uh, go over them all just type in arrays dot, uh, dot separator make sure you've imported the java.util.arrays uh, package and then do arrays dot separator and just look through these and then just uh, pick one and uh, it tells you what parameters it needs um, and all that stuff so let's get to it arrays dot equals and this takes in two parameters um, the first one being the first array that you want to test comma and then array two so that's the, the two um, two parameters and then we're going to display the result so paste print line result one so if we save this and then run it true so all this did was we created a boolean variable called result one that stores the boolean value uh, true or false based on the method equals in the arrays class and all it's doing is comparing these two uh, arrays right here if we try to compare array 1 versus array 2 or array 3 um, you can see right here they're not equal uh, the boolean result false will be stored in the result 1 variable so as you can see down here false so that's the basics basis of that method. Um, there's another one that I want to show you. It's called copy of range. All it does is it allows you to copy the contents of one array into another one. So we could copy the entire thing into another array, or we could say we want to start from the index one and go to the index of uh, three, and it would only create an array with three elements with the uh, starting at index 1 and index 9 so let's go to that or index 3 so um, we're just going to create another array int we'll call it array 4 to stay consistent and it's we're not going to initialize it the same way we have with these 
we're going to initialize it with the result of a method and it's going to be the copy of range method so we're going to do the arrays class dot copy of range and this takes three parameters as you can see um, the first parameter being the array that we want to be copied so we're going to copy array 3 which it already has for us the second array being the the first index we want to start copying into our new array so we're going to say we're gonna start from index 1 so this will be our first uh, element in our array so we're gonna say index 1 and we want it to stop copying at 0 so 1 2 3 4 5 so from 1 to 5 and if we want to display this array now we have to use the two string method that we used in the previous tutorial so arrays dot two string array four and this is a new array now if I run this negative 40 127 6 so as you can see here this is our array 4 if we want it to be negative 40 all the way to 6 the ending index will be number 4 we save this and run it negative 40 127 as you can see it now array number 4 is this right here so that's not too hard um, we covered two string all it does is it allows us to uh, show the re our array in the run box if you want a more elaborate um, explanation of that I discussed it more in the previous tutorial but um, I'm not gonna cover it too thoroughly here um, there's another method I want to cover it's called the sort method and it does exactly what you think it would it sorts our arrays in ascending order so from the smallest number all the way to the biggest number so let's do that real quick we're going to delete our fourth we'll keep the fourth array doesn't matter um, we're just going to do this we're going to sort a, our third array because as you can see it's not in ascending order so we're just it's very easy to do this one so what we're going to type is arrays dot sort and this will be the argument it takes is the array so array 3 that's the one we're going to be sorting yeah okay I typed that in the wrong place what we need to do is arrays dot sort array three because we can't print out an entire array without using the two string method so we're just gonna sort it here in one statement and the next one we're going to display it so print line we are going to now do print line arrays dot two string array three okay not thirty three okay so as you can see up here array three starts at negative six negative forty one hundred twenty seven it's not in order we now sorted array three and then when we display it it should be from the smallest number to the biggest so negative 40 negative 6 0 6 27 100 as you can see it completely sorted our um, array and if we deleted this and then saved it it would all it would do is display it the normal way so it's kind of a cool method um, there is a binary search uh, method and it allows you to search for a specific value in a sorted array uh, sorted being the keyword it has to be in ascending order to actually uh, 
use this method. So the way we're going to do this is we're going to create a new variable. It's going to be the int integer data type. Let me uh, get this so int bind index is going to be the name of the variable. It's going to be equal to uh, the result of this method. So arrays dot binary search takes in two parameters. The first one being the array that we want to search through. Um, this is a lot more uh, useful in arrays that are oh, massive. Um, it's very uh, efficient in doing so. But like right now, if you look at these arrays, they're not very big. You're like, why would I need to look through these? Well, when there's like 200 uh, elements in your array, this is a, a very useful method. So our first parameter is going to be, um, we'll say array one, array one. That's the uh, parameter we're going to look through or the array that we're going to look through. And we're going to be looking for um, the number to be searched for. So in array one, you can see nine is right here. It's index zero, one, two, three. If we display the find index variable, so find index. If we display this, the result should be um, zero, one, two, three. It should be three. It'll just display the index of where the uh, element that we are looking for is at three. So say we put. Uh, we'll put four as you can see four is not inside of this array and uh, I'll show you what it does it doesn't display false uh, like you would think it would do it says negative four negative so there's two parts of this um, the negative indicates that this element is not found. Four indicates the index of where it should be, but it's a little bit uh, different. As you can see, four should be um, index zero, one, two. It should be right here, so that'd be index three. All it does is it adds one to it. So if it should have been here, it would be negative zero, one, it would be negative two. So it just adds one to it. And then the last thing I'm going to show you, since this video is already kind of long, it's not actually a method. It's a, uh, it's a field. Um, there's no length method in, a, uh, in the arrays class. But there is a field. And we will cover what fields are um, in subsequent videos. But for right now, um, it's basically just a variable is what a field is but there's a length field um, and I'll show you how that works all it does is it displays the uh, the length of the array so it's quite simple we'll just uh, get the uh, print line method and we will just say array one dot length that's not the way it's supposed to be array one dot length so once we run this in the run box it just displays the length which is five of array one so one two three four five and note that the length is different than the index. See, this has five elements in it, which is the length, but this is the fourth index because computers start counting at zero. So if we type in array two dot length and we save this, as you can see, it's the same thing because the uh, 
same array pretty much so we'll type in array 3 and we'll save that 6 as you can see there's one more element in that array um, this video has been kind of long already it's already at 15 minutes so that's about all the methods and fields that I'm going to show you within uh, this class but if you want to look for more methods yourself you can just type in array dot separator and you can look through all the different um, methods yourself you could type it in right here arrays dot and here's all the methods within it as you can see there are a ton but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the future.